well, well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's round two. It is round two of area festivals. <laughs> Long story short, after my last area festivals, a few days later, I kept like refreshing the rider search on British Dressage website to basically see whether my 12th place result had uploaded on the British Dressage website and it had done. And I also noticed at the same time that I had two cues on um, my record for last season, which means you've qualified twice, which I didn't know. So I'd only ever been to four BD shows at this point. So I've got these right down in the middle of packing. And um, I thought, oh, well, you know, you have to have a minimum of six scores above 63% to qualify twice. I was like, well, I've only been to four shows. Like, how would that work? But of course, every show I've been to, I've done two prelim classes, all above 63%. So I'd got my scores and qualified for two area festivals. So I was like, right, when is the next area festival that is in within, within like a three hour radius? Uh, and it just so happened that Forest Edge Arena was um, the next area festival. It was two weeks after Parwood, my last area festival that I did. So anyway, I had a look online, totally gutted because entries had closed and I was like, oh my God, what are the chances? So I got in contact with the secretary and I said, look, is there anything pretty, pretty please that you could do for me to be able to um, compete? And, you know, very understandingly, she said, look, entries are closed. The spaces are completely full. She was like, but if there's a withdrawal, I'll put you first on the waiting list and I'll let you know. So, lo and behold, literally a few days ago, a few days before, um, I found out that someone had withdrawn and there was a space for me. So Charlotte got all excited because I feel like this is my second chance. I'm not going to lie, I'm still equally as anxious because I feel like there's even more pressure now because this is my second chance to not mess up. And if I mess up on my second chance, I mean, I just look like the ultimate idiot. So anyway... You've joined me at the point of packing for Forest Edge. So for those of you who don't know, Forest Edge is based in Norfolk. I've been to Norfolk a few times actually, but just for like beach holidays. We went to Holcombe Beach a few times and I'm not going to lie, the journey is absolutely rubbish. It's taken me like four hours to get there before. Sat nav says two hours, but you never know if there's going to be traffic or not. So basically today I'm doing what I did last time, bringing Vossie in from the field. He's been out all morning. It's currently 10 o'clock. I need to muck him out from last night, packing up the car. So I'm in the middle of packing tonight's rug, um, his massage pad, obviously his tax already packed, his um, emergency first aid kit, um, his water bucket, his hay soaking bucket, his feeds. I'm going to make up all the hay nets and put them in the trailer as well. Then I'm going to bring him in at about 11. I'm going to wash his legs, wash his tail and then get him prepped. And then we can then head off. I'm aiming to head off just before 12 just so I can get there before uh, it gets dark. Obviously, I'm going to have a time to be able to exercise him tonight at the arena, which will be great. And then tomorrow, I'm actually one of the last ones on out of a class of 36. So this time around, the classes aren't split. It's one big class of 36 competitors. I'm at the end, so I'm competing at 10 past one in the afternoon, which makes me feel so great because I can actually watch people in the morning as opposed to stressing about being the first one in because I was obviously the second one in last time so I couldn't see any before which stressed me out and there wasn't an arena walk either which stressed me out even more funny story for you all um I had a lesson with my trainer this week Georgie and we were kind of running over everything I was like oh you know I've got an arena walk this time it's great I thought an arena walk was where you literally go on foot like a show jumping course and walk around your test on foot turns out that's not what an arena walk is an arena walk is where you're actually on your horse walking around the outside of the arena that you're going to be competing in so you can get your horse used to things like banners or spooky flowers or anything like that that your horse may you know in the test be a bit spooky to and of course Rossi was so spooky at my last test at Harwood and there wasn't an arena walk so he didn't actually get to see the arena beforehand so I'm hoping this time round I'll be on at about quarter past seven because the arena walk is at half past seven. That's the only downside actually competing later. I have to tack up twice. So I'll be tacking up 
tomorrow morning at seven, getting on for my reading walk at 7.30 and then tacking up again at about quarter past 12, good half an hour warm in before competing at 10 past one. So that's the down low. I know it's a bit of a shock. I was equally as shocked, but do you know what? I think if you do badly first time round, you know, have a little sulk like I did, get on with it, get back, pick yourself back up and try again. That's what I'm doing today. So welcome to part two of area festivals. Um, and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Well, I've just hitched up as you can see, and I have got my extra long extension lead that connects into my car, attaches to um, my tire pressure pump so that I can do the tire pressures not only on my car, but also the trailer as well, so it's long enough. So as you can imagine, I am now just going to check all my tire pressures are good uh, because um, the last time I came out from Norfolk, I had a bit of a shock. I thought I had a blowout because um, I had a flat tire, but actually it wasn't a blowout. All of the air had just deflated out of the tire. So now I'm just like making sure that all the time that I have the right tire pressures in each tire so yeah fun job this just uh finishing off the last bits to pack in the trailer got my uh mucking out stuff some reusable bags guys so i can bring the bedding home with me because i've been paying for bedding there and obviously it's only going to be used for one night it can be reused it doesn't have to go on a muck even be wasted bring that back in those bags fork broom you know all the other shabam that you need i'm gonna pack that up then i'm going inside having a coffee and having some toast and then we'll move Ossie in from the field wash his tail wash his legs and we can get rocking and rolling we are all packed Ta -da! and then bossy will go this side now i can go and have my cup of coffee and my toast oh my goodness well we have had so much rain the fields are super muddy, as you can tell. Delightful. So I'm just going to quickly wash his legs, wash his tail. I've got some really amazing purple shampoo that I use for my own hair. Basically, it just gets rid of all the yellow and it's so pigmented. So it's like the most effective purple shampoo there is. And you have to be really careful. Otherwise, his tail will go purple if I leave it in for too long. Anyway, give him a hay nap. I'm going to take his rugs off now, give him a groom, wash his legs, wash his tail. And then we can set Mr. Bot's on our little adventure. You're going to Norfolk again. We're not going to the beach this time, no. No, we're doing dressage again. Well, that is Fossey loaded. Everything's packed. He's been washed. Um, he did do a poo and he's got poo down his back legs again. Hey, because we're in cheeky sausage. Right, we are off. We are here after such a good journey Ta -da! it's going slowly down the drive because it's quite rutty journey was great there was no traffic in total i left i think just after 12 and it's three now i knew it would take me more than two hours it's taken us three hours but it was a straight run no traffic no collisions nothing so yeah, I just arrived. I totally forgot to tell you. My Instagram friend, B, don't know if you follow her. Um, I'll put her link here. She, um, her handle, sorry. She very kindly offered to come and help. So I've actually got B with me. So I'm not by myself. Uh, so I'm literally gonna have uh, her help me. Obviously when I arrive, I'm gonna have to make Vossi's bed, unload him, and then I can go and have a little look at what's going on. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys soon. So I have just laid Vossi's two bags of shavings and popped him in his stable with some hay. He's all settled. You good boy. He's such a good boy. And then just here, I'm filling up his water bucket so he can have some water and just bringing some extra buckets around. That's his hay soaking bucket and that's his bucket to clean off any poo stains in the morning. So I have literally just finished Voss off in the stable, uh, just unpacked the trailer with all my bits and bobs. And now I'm actually just going to head round to um, the warm up arena and watch a few go round. I think it's the novice today. But first of all, we've got a special guest. Hello. It's me. Hi, guys. <laughs> I made her go in the portal. I was like, right, babe, come on, we've got to give you a special uh, reveal. So I was like, get in the portal. This is my YouTube debut. 
<laughs> so B is obviously, as I told you on the way up, B is very kindly come and offered to help Voss and I. Um, so as Voss is all, I didn't even realise the main wing's literally here. I should probably whisper. Um, so Voss is all done. So now we're just gonna watch a few go around in the indoor. Let me show you in a sec what it looks like. So here's the warm up and then you walk through that way or you can come around this way to the main ring. Well, I'm blinding Fossey with the flash on, bless him. He's just had his dinner. So um, what we're gonna do is because this class tonight doesn't finish until seven, we're gonna head off back to the hotel, have dinner, then come back and then I'm not allowed to ride until the warm-up's clear. So I'll be riding him from about 7 till 7.30, just give him a leg stretch. And for now, he can just relax more, eat his dinner, and there's some hay in there as well. You good boy. Wow, exciting. B and I have just got to our accommodation. Should we show you inside? Oh. <laughs> yeah! How cute, got an ensuite, bathroom's in there. And the best part is it's a pub separate. So it's an outer building separate to the pub, which is just around the corner. And we're gonna go and eat some food now, aren't we, Bea? Yes. Yum. So, so nice cute. Guys, I mean, <laughs> Give us a pose, come on. Yes, <laughs> so. Perfect. Hi guys, it's 7 p.m. We've just had the best pub dinner. Charlotte ordered two starters and a main because I'm a fatty. <laughs> and B and I had a bit of a disaster because we drove back from the hotel to the stables and realised that I left my tack in the hotel room. So we had to drive all the way back to the hotel, pick up the tack, come back. I've got my music in the background, so I'm going to have to put it on mute. Uh, stop looking in there. Come on. Guys, this is uh, B Cam. Don't think Charlotte can hear me, but. Oh, I mean it. Stop looking out there. We're just in the warm up arena, having a little leg stretch. And it's quite a spooky arena, actually. Oh We're now just doing some upward transitions. She's probably going to cut all of this out of the vlog um, because my voice is really annoying, but if it gets left in... Um... Way too soon. Then I love you guys. Oh, hey, bee in the background. You look like a bean. <laughs> a bean. So, lovely bee has been filming on her phone because, best believe, I've been playing some tunes to keep me calm. <laughs> um, surprisingly, Vossi actually didn't have any wild moments tonight. He was a good boy. Um, aren't you, darling? There's a dog in a bear here. So, did we walk to a canter? Um, did a tiny bit of the test 
like I didn't do the whole run through because it's 30 by 40 in here which is quite off-putting I definitely don't want to be riding parts of the test bigger than what I'm used to so um yeah I'm happy with that how long did I ride in for B? about half an hour yeah he's had a good half an hour workout yeah so um I'm gonna give him a walk down now pop him to bed and finish him off for the night Bossy untacked. He's got his hay for the night. Two big hay nets in there. His water skipped out. Nice warm rug on for the night. And I'm going to leave him to relax now. I'm going to go back to the hotel and chill for a bit. Hey, boss, come here. Come here, what's this? He likes his hay too much, don't you? No, oh, my gorgeous. My gorgeous. Do a treat. Do a treat. Oh, now I've got to give him a treat got him some treats in and my grooming kit here we go you want a treat yes good boy good morning everybody it's 7am and i'm feeling good i've had my rescue remedy because best believe i woke up and i was feeling nervous so basically a lot of the horses and vossi are stable down there so i've just come up this way just to catch up with you guys so i was really happy with how bossy felt last night um got to the yard this morning at about course to seven gave bossy his breakfast marked out um the arena walk is at half past seven it's currently ten past seven so i am literally about to tack up bossy he's just changed into my riding boots and literally i'm just going to be walking him around the outside of the arena that we're going to be competing in this afternoon uh, and then I'll untack him, leave him in his stable, and then I'm going to start plaiting at about 11 o'clock. Get on for about half past 12, and then um, get ready to compete. Do you know what? Honestly, this rescue remedy has really helped me. Uh, this morning I woke up and I, my whole body felt really tense again. I was like, no! I was like, rescue remedying straight away, and uh, touch wood, it has made me feel a lot, lot better. So... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, just gonna tack Bossy up now and then head round to the arena for Bossy to see all the spooky bits. B cam again. Um, we are now just doing an arena walk. Started at half past seven this morning. So we're up nice and early. Um, but Voss is doing really well, nice and chilled, despite a lot of the horses being quite spooky. So. providing the spookiness for the horses. They keep spooking at me as they walk past, but I think it's all good for their desensitization of the arena. Arena walk done. Um, I gave him a good 20 minutes on both reins and he was a good boy. Um, so yeah, now we're just going to go get some breakfast because it's like 8am um, and then clean tack and then plaid and then get on a bit later. Just in the cafe watching some of the riders go round, as you can see. I cannot tell you how many times I've used this today. This is my rescue remedy and I need it again because I'm starting to feel anxious again. Taste like whiskey. Darling, you're so cute. Are you having a sleep? I got to plat you. Mummy got to come plat you, sweetheart. Hi guys, I'm just in the warm up, and it's looking good so far. Just checking in. Hello guys. After the brief, well, very quick warm in. Um, I bought Vossi into the main ring for our test and my strategy was to basically uh, walk and trot round up past the judges boxes up past C and also round by A because it was so tight to get down the centre line so I just wanted to make it 
I wanted to show him the judges' boxes so he didn't spook up at C, but also get him past A so that he didn't spook coming down the sense line because it was so tight. So after I'd gone past the judges, I was happy to turn around to S and come back round on myself because obviously I'm tracking right to start with, so I wanted to enter in on my right rein. Anyway, I'm not going to blabber on through this test. I'm going to put it to music so it's a bit more pleasurable for you guys to watch. Enjoy! <laughs>
Right, I need a low down. Tell me how you're feeling. This happened. I haven't even had time to catch up with you guys. Um, as you can imagine, I was extremely nervous. Um, but Rossi smashed it. He wasn't spooky. I could actually think when I was going around the test today, I think the arena walk just helped so much, giving him that 20 minutes in the morning, being able to, you know, show him around the you know the banners the atmosphere the pots on the floor um and he gave it him he gave it his all i couldn't have asked more um i burst out crying again this time like what is wrong with me i'm such a win i'm gonna blame time of the month uh, but honestly tears of happiness today could not be proud of him we finished on our personal best score at an area festival We've qualified for nationals at Addington in April. I'm sorry, how does this even happen right now, please? Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm on a massive high. I haven't eaten all day, so I'm now gonna go treat lovely Vicky, a partner, B, who's currently filming right now. We're all gonna go to the cafe, have a wind down, have something to eat, and then it's gonna be pack up time, and then for my three hour journey back home. Well, I don't know what to say guys. I've said goodbye to B, Vicky and her partner, and I just finished packing everything away. I've done a really wise thing here because the car park is a huge, boggy, muddy mess. And what I've done is I reversed Vossi's trailer <laughs> to the stable so he can go directly from the concrete straight into the trailer to avoid all the mud. Because best believe I did not spend two days washing his white legs for nothing. So yeah, that's the end of the show. That's it. Uh, loading Vossi up now and I will be venturing off on my three hour journey back home. And do you know what, Mossy absolutely loves it here. I feel so guilty because the past two stay aways have been at such beautiful country locations. Like we're in Norfolk, we are literally in a forest. You cannot smell an ounce of pollution. You cannot hear anything but birds tweeting. And where we live, it's like, it's like central London. It's obviously not central London, but the chaos, the cars, the traffic, the ambulances, the noise, the pollution is awful and I feel so bad taking him back to it um, who knows I have been manifesting selling up and moving into the country who knows what may happen that might be my next venture that you guys will be joining me on but anyway I'm gonna leave it there guys I'm gonna load bossy up now and head back on my journey home I just want to say a huge thank you to Equinutritive who very kindly sponsored this video and also to uh, Forest Edge for holding this fantastic show and pet plan of course that run the areas and to my trainers Georgie and Mandy Day Judy Firmston Williams who helped me in the lead up with some very critical training that I really needed of course a huge thank you to the lovely bee who helped me all weekend i could not have done this without her she was an angel and not forgetting of course vicky and her partner who traveled all the way down from yorkshire to norfolk to film my special moment today so how lucky am i to say that people would do that for me like it's just a pinch me moment it really is so on that very happy note and this wonderful lighting may i add <laughs> It's golden hour. I'm going to leave it there, guys. So take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.